Hello guys, welcome back to A7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the concrete stress versus strain curve. So in this lecture we are going to discuss the curve between the stress and strain for the concrete material. So if I take these two axes, the y axis shows the compressor stress for the concrete material, compressor stress in the unit of KSI or maybe PSI pound per square inch or the kilo pound per square inch and the x axis shows the strain which has no unit or we can represent by inches over inches but strain is a unitless quantity. So if I show the y axis with the compressor stress and the x axis with the strain then we have a plot between these two quantities for the concrete. So for the concrete to draw the curve between the stress and strain we have to perform some test on the cylinder so we can get the curve. So actually we perform, we make a cylinder. This is a concrete cylinder with a diameter of 6 inches according to the ASI American Concrete Institute and the height of this cylinder is 12 inches. So we prepare this cylinder of concrete and we put this cylinder for 28 days for curing. So after getting the enough strength, we place this concrete in the universal testing machine, which is called is the UTM, universal testing machine, and we perform the compressor test on this cylinder. So by performing this test, we, we get a curve between the compressor stress and strain and this curve is known in the is known as the stress versus strain curve for the concrete material. So after performing the test on this concrete, we can get the elasticity of the concrete from this test. So let's suppose we per, we make the cylinder and we are going to perform the test on this cylinder, which is made of made up of the concrete. This cylinder is made up of the concrete. So by starting the test, it will, the curve will be straight, will be linear for some time. It means the stress and strain have the linear relation at the start. And then after increasing the load on the cylinder, it will be deviating from the linear position and will be showing the non-linear, non-linearity and then increasing, increasing and then reaching to the top of the load and then it will decreasing again and it will show breakage here and this point is called as the rupture of the concrete it means now the concrete has been ruptured in parts and it cannot take any more load so such type of curve we always obtain from the concrete either made from the normal concrete or from the high performance concrete so this point at which it cannot take any further load is called as the rupture point rupture point for the concrete and its strain its strain is usually represented as e c u this is the rupture strain for this concrete and this is this will be called as the ultimate strain for this concrete which we tested in the universal testing machine while this is called while the vertical axis we have the ultimate compressor strength for this concrete material so we have on the y axis we have compressor strength and on the x and the x axis we have the ultimate strength for this concrete material so this is for the one material let's suppose we have a higher strength we, we now have a higher strength concrete. This was the normal strength. Let's suppose now we have a high strength concrete. So it will show more strength like in this way. But now the point of rupture will be less. Point of rupture will be reached quickly as before because now we have higher strength. The strength of the concrete has been increased and we have the same strain but we have the same ultimate strain but now the point of rupture will be less as compared to the 
normal strain concrete so if we are increasing the if we are increasing the compressive strength if we are increasing the compressive strength for the concrete cylinder then the rupture point or the rupture strength for the concrete is going to be decreased in a decreased way while the ultimate strength remains the same so mostly the rupture strength for the concrete ranges from 0.003 to 0.004 while the ultimate strength ranges in the value of 0.002 so if we are increasing the compressive strength we are increasing the compressive strength in the other way our rupture strength is going to be decreased so this is the important point we can get from these curves from the normal strength and from the high strength concrete the other thing is that from the cylinder line from the cylinder line we can get the elasticity because elasticity can be derived from the stress strain relationship up to the linearity point so we have here linear portion of the curve so we can get the elasticity of the concrete from this linear graph just by dividing the stress over strain stress value here dividing by the strain value of the concrete we can take the elasticity of the concrete or according to the ACI 8.5.1 we can easily calculate the elasticity of the concrete by using this formula 57,000 under root FC prime where FC prime is the maximum concrete strength we take from this experiment so under root multiplying with the constant of 57,000 we can get the elasticity of the concrete but it should be noted that this FC prime should be in the unit of PSI pound per square inches and the output result will also be in the unit of pound per square inches so let's suppose if my concrete strength is let's suppose this reaches to a value of 3000 psi which is a normal strength concrete so so if i put the here 3000 psi and multiply with this constant we get a value of something 3122 comma 127 psi so dividing this value by 1000 we can convert into ksi so it is now 3122 ksi so this will be the elasticity for this concrete material or uh, we can divide the compressive stress or the compressive strain we can get the elasticity of the concrete only for the linear portion but we can also find the elasticity by simple this formula where we can put the compressive strength of the concrete and multiplying with the constant we can get the elasticity of the concrete in the unit of psi hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching all videos